One summer's day, Thomas and Percy were idling in the station when Bertie the bus arrived. Have you noticed something, said Bertie. What sort of something, asked Thomas. The fat controller, he seems different, replied Bertie. I did see him staring at the clouds this morning, said Percy. I wonder why. The reason was simple. It was Lady Hat's birthday and Sir Topham had a new outfit. It's perfect for my birthday party, said his wife. You look splendid, Topham, dear. And I'll wear my finest hat just for you, he replied. Your birthday is a great occasion. It is, so don't be late. Don't worry, my dear. I shall be spick and span and right on time. Later that day, the fat controller had changed into his new suit. You look fine, sir, said the station master. You'd well, best sir. be going. Indeed, agreed the fat controller. The engines are busy. I'll take car. Is well, it reliable, sir. asked the station master. Certainly, said the fat controller. But it wasn't. As he sped along, he suddenly saw a large hole in the road. He braked hard, but it was too late. Bother. Now I've got a puncture. If I change my wheel, I'm sure to dirty my suit, and that would never do. Just then, he heard Caroline. I have to attend my wife's birthday party, and I cannot be late. Please give me a lift. I'll try, sir. Caroline didn't like going fast. I'm hot! My head's a overheat! And it did. I told you so, said Caroline sadly. Bother, bother! Then he heard a loud whistle. It was George the steamroller. George was cross when he saw Caroline. Call yourself a car, you're a disgrace to the road. Find yourself a scrapyard. Caroline spluttered in fury. George's driver was more polite. Can I be of assistance, sir? Only if you can get me to my wife's birthday party, sighed the fat controller. We can take you to Thomas, replied the driver. He's just down the line. Much obliged. And they rumbled away. Wait, what about me? Well, Caroline, I'll send for help, called the fat controller. Stay there. Oh, that's all I can do. George was enjoying rolling along the lane, but not the fat controller. Oil splashed everywhere. Worse was to follow. Help! cried George. Something snapped. He veered out of control and the fat controller landed in a muddy ditch close to where Thomas was taking on water. Bother, bother. Thomas had never seen the fat controller in such a mess. Can I help you, sir? asked Thomas's driver. Yes, please. Get me to the station as fast as you can. I'm afraid our fireman's been taken ill. Then I'll be your fireman, sighed the fat controller. Thomas was excited. The fat controller had to work hard. Coal dust and smut flew everywhere. <laughs> they reached the station. The fat controller looked at the clock. Just in time, he gasped. He hurriedly picked up a huge bunch of flowers. Good luck, called Thomas. The fat controller's wife was waiting for him. As the clock struck three, there stood Sir Topham Hatt. Tired, but triumphant, he gave his wife the flowers. Oh, thank you, my dear. I know this was my special birthday party, but I didn't know that it was fancy dress. Everyone laughed. And then the party began. you idiots. Began.